Howdy hammock campers. I just wanted to show you this, which is what I have done to DD's magnificent jungle hammock. I bought the extra, extra large snakeskin, which is an absolute beast. And inside here is the jungle hammock, one of my old sleeping bags to use as underquilt. My, my winter sleeping bag is in there. Um, what else have I got in there? The top and a spare top as an under, undercover and then an old, like a 10 year old Clark jungle hammock which I'm now using as a gear hammock. All of that fits in there and there's actually probably room for more. The only thing that I haven't squeezed in there is the arches and my little pillow slash knee prop thing. So let me set it up and show you how it looks. Wait right there. Well, that did not take long, did it? And that's everything. I forgot to mention I've got the sin mat in there, so that will need to be inflated. Um, but I've got my sleeping bags in there, my gear hammock's ready so I can put all my stuff in. There's a tarp here, there's another tarp under here to keep everything waterproof. That's it, done. Bob's your uncle. Now, I admit that that huge snake is not easy to pack. It's not. You're carrying the same stuff as you would if it was all bundled in the little packages, but because it's not all bundled in the little packages, it's a bit unwieldy. But I think it's worth it. I think the trade-off is worth it because that was super fast. I'm not constantly packing sleeping bags into a pack or pulling them out. I'm, I'm not having to roll up that sin mat all the time. So it saves me a ton of time. So um, I'll take it. I can bung this little bag and bung the bag on the back of the motorbike and I'm away. I'm happy as Larry. I believe I've shown in other videos how I like to rig up the top so you get it at both ends of the carabiners like that so it gets really taut and then you cross the ends over to keep it nice and tight at the back. So have a look at my other videos about the, the jungle hammock for that. Uh, DD rightly pointed out that it doesn't work in all cases. If you, you know, if you haven't got the trees the right distance apart then you might not be able to stretch it all the way across between the two carabiners. But I use uh, a toggle on the carabiner, I mean on the on the tree hugger, if the carabiner loops around a toggle, so I can change the height of that toggle, change the distance of that toggle so that I always get it right. So I've so far not had any problems, but just so you know there is a risk that you're putting a lot of strain and stress on it. It does put more stress on these arches as well, and it's a bit of a faff to, to loop the tarp on. Uh, but I'm hoping for nice sunny days where I don't need to deploy the tarp. Most of the time I'll just have it hanging off, off one end, just waiting in case a rainstorm comes and then I'll be able to enjoy the vista that is afforded by this luxury, spacious, massive hammock. I'm still absolutely in love with this. I've been using it 
a lot. <laughs> I've been using it constantly since I got it. And if I want to convert someone to hammocks, I set this up and let them get in it. And I'm, I'm, I'm converting people left, right and centre. It is amazing. So, yes, DD have got new products out at the moment, the, the new super light stuff, which will be great for you mountain climbers and hikers and whatnot. But if, like me, you're, a, you're on an automobile, I'm on a motorbike and occasionally in the car, then you can't go wrong with this thing. Or if you're a big burly bugger who likes to carry stuff, <laughs> then you can't go wrong. Uh, whether you want to opt for that stupidly large snakeskin is up to you. Um, but I am very pleased that DD made it because I was getting tears and I was using two snakeskins, normal size ones, and they were tearing. So uh, this new extra large one, they're, they're just mind readers, these people. Mind readers, it's brilliant, I love it. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so you know that I'm still enjoying my love affair with Dee Dee's Jungle Hammock. Over and out. One day the dog